Once upon a time in the south, there stood a grand plantation. The owner of this plantation, Old Master Reginald, was known far and wide for his wealth and the vast expanse of his lands. But what most didn't know was that the true treasure of his plantation was not the crops or the land, but a man named John. John was no ordinary man. He was Old Master Reginald's most trusted slave, not for his strength or skill, but for his extraordinary memory. John remembered everything, from the number of grains harvested to the songs sung at last year's festival. Old Master Reginald didn't need ledgers or books. He had John. One fateful day, as the sun cast long shadows across the fields, the devil himself appeared before Old Master Reginald. With a sly grin, he declared, I've come for John, it's his time. Old Master Reginald, taken aback, pleaded, Why, John? He's invaluable to me. The devil, intrigued, asked about John's unique skills. Old Master Reginald proudly boasted of John's impeccable memory. The devil, always up for a challenge, decided to test John's abilities. If John failed, he would be taken away. As John approached, the tension in the air was palpable. The devil, trying to catch John off guard, asked a seemingly simple question. John, do you like eggs? Without hesitation, John replied, Yes, sir. The devil, surprised by the swift response, vanished without another word. Time passed, and the incident became a mere memory. On a scorching summer day, John sat under a tree two years later, fanning himself with his straw hat. Suddenly the ground trembled, and the devil reappeared, asking just one word. How? Without missing a beat, John responded, scrambled. The devil, defeated and impressed, disappeared, never returning for John again.